Casey Lake by myself this weekend. One thing about today though, eh? Is that we're gonna have thunderstorm, showers, rainstorm, high wind, just all that. All today. So now I think of it, probably not a good time to just chill and fish. I'm gonna get going. Get to that first portage. Remember how I like Remember every time I bring a fishing rod out, something happens and I just can't fish? I respooled it two nights ago and I was all gone. What the hell, man? So what happened, I think what happened is like I just want to go back there, so I threw it back there and she was walking around. So you know how like that metal parts just like kind of came out. So that made the fishing line loose and eventually it went in the water and it's like it started dragging it, right? So, and eventually it's till the end of the line and just poof, the whole thing just popped. And I heard it. I heard the line snap or the, the end of the snap. And I turn around to look and there's nothing left of my fishing, uh, fishing rod. Every single time I bring my fishing rod out, something happens. Damn. The wind has picked up for sure. Hiring. Although we're not going against wind, which is great, all right. All I gotta do is just make sure that the canoe and the waves are perpendicular. So, um, you know, if it's parallel to the waves, it's very dangerous that I could tip over. So it is tiring. Still, just gotta make sure that my canoe is always pointing the right directions. And when the waves that strong, it's really hard to keep the canoe straight too. The portage should just be up there somewhere, I hope. If... Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but down there, that's a portage sign. But now the problem is when I turn around, I'm definitely gonna be parallel to the waves. I'm gonna go really close to the shore, right? And uh, just paddle my way there slowly. Ooh, that was dangerous. Dang it! So close, but yes, so far. Yeah, I'm gonna stay really close to the shore in case I flip. Holy shit! This. We made it. Oh my god, that was so dangerous. Oh my god. Rain Lake to Casey Lake. We made it. We made it. So we're finally here. One of the campsites on Casey Lake. Oh man, I'm so tired. Holy crap. Two hours, that's it. I haven't done it for a while and that 1.3 kilometer portage kind of killed me too. Just tired, man. Oh God. It says it's gonna rain later, so I'm gonna make sure I set up my tarp, set up my tent like right now. After that, gonna get some firewood. Thank God that these guys left a lot of firewood here. Hopefully they're usable. Some of them are pretty thick and rotten, so I'm not gonna use those. I'm gonna find fire uh, tinder in there as well. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna set up tarp right now. Not sure how I'm gonna do it yet, so I'm gonna look around and uh, my tent as well. All right, let's go. This is the best I can do for now. Tent 
that's done. I made sure that the tent is underneath nothing. Another thing that gone wrong. My tripod base is gone. I'm sure I brought it because I put it on this morning. I'm pretty sure it fell out while I was portaging. So hopefully I can find a layer. Oh man, more things that's gone wrong. Very essential. Let's go. That looks like guaranteed rain now. So I'm just gonna wait for a little bit. And once it starts raining, I've already done everything. Like I don't know if you can see my food bag all the way down there. I'm just ready. Once it starts raining, I'm gonna go in there. And if it rains all night, then I'm just gonna eat in my tent. You know, I'm gonna have some a uh, couple of new dry pack uh, meal which is pretty cool. I'll tell you guys about it later. If it rains all night, I'm gonna just stay in the tent, eat my food and just sleep all day, man. A little bit, did quite a bit of wood earlier. Just chilling now, waiting for the rain to calm down. Rain stopped for a bit, but pretty sure it's gonna pick up very soon. So I'm just gonna chill in here still. Do, 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 do. Didn't bring, didn't even bring my sleeping bag, cause it's pretty hot. So just a sleeping bag liner. Okay, the rain stopped, so I ran out right away. Cool, I got all these. Uh, started my fire, but I gotta eat. I'm starving. Hopefully it won't rain anymore. All right, so for dinner or for I guess food today is gonna be pulled steak taco. All right, it's my first time ever making taco in my life and it's gonna be outdoors. So I hope it works out. So I asked for one pound and I actually did not realize how, how thick this is, okay? It's a big piece. <laughs> I don't think I can finish this. All right, very good. Last time I solo portaged, Solo camp was last year. That didn't end well. Remember the uh, Alone to Lonely episode? This time, when I was in the tent, I was for some reason very unsettled. Like I know I want to sleep, but I couldn't sleep. And it's just like whole time I'm thinking about different stuff. Like Princess, I think she's sick. My work, relationships and all stuff like that. And I just like couldn't sleep and I was just so unsettled. Yeah, that's when I got, I was like, you know what? Let's start cooking. Cause I just gotta, I gotta focus on something else and keep my mind away from it, right? But hey, summer school is over. So that's really good. Back to uh, outdoor style and I think it's gonna rain. Uh oh, I'm glad school is over. Try to help a lot of kids out. Some, they, they were taking their time to find purpose in life I think like motivations and goals in life that that's sometimes take them a while right I mean we've we've all been there so <sighs> okay yeah now and a half Looking good. Just roasting the tortilla or the soft taco shell on my uh, grill. Oh, it's hot already. Good. And this was just for picture. So you can go back here. Down this flat piece of rock. So I'm going to use it for my, as my uh, prepping station. Let's go. Can't wait. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without my, just putting it on my lap. Tortilla. Okay, oh, still hot. Hot, 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 Very, very hot. Yeah, that should be enough, I think. Yeah. And then lettuce on top. Huh. Okay, and then just a bit of lime juice. Come on. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Man, that's a huge taco. I don't know if I can finish all of this. Flavor is not bad. 
but the steak obviously is way over, like it's really um tough i think it has to be like in a pot where you can put a cover on and let it simmer can't do it out here but whatever man still good still good still good you want a bite If you can hear that, real shower is here. The fire is gonna be dead for sure by the time I'm done eating this. But whatever, by the time I'm done eating, if it's still raining, I end up in there. The rain stopped and the birds are out. You can hear them sing. Oh, right after I said that, I stopped singing. I can hear a thunder all the way down the other side though. Dun -dun, dun -dun, so that's kind of scary. Anyway, we are just chilling by the campfire now. So peaceful, man. It's now nine o'clock. We've turned in and we're gonna sleep now. There was like a little bit of thunderstorm that passed by, but that wasn't too severe. But yeah, I don't know, nothing else to do now. <laughs> Good night for now, see you tomorrow morning, bye. Good morning. Having my uh, having my morning milk tea. Oh, so good. I think Princess thinks that I'm talking to someone. It's sparking like crazy. Last night was a little crazy with all the rain and thunders. It's all past. It's all done. For my breakfast, for my breakfast, I have, I'm having this. This is called Backcountry Walk. And this is a new company. I'm, I'm not sure how long, probably less than a year. And it's homemade. Look at the packaging. I love this, eh? Look at that packaging. Woo! And there's another one. Look at that. Oh man, I love the packaging. So, this is kind of the same as the other ones, like Backcountry, Pantry, and what's the other one called? The one that I love, uh, Mountain House. Oh, Mountain House is so good. The packaging is 100% decomposable, so that's pretty good. Dietitian approved, uh, 11 gram of protein, local ingredients. So it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, and it's all Asian style stuff, so I love, you know, I love that fact about it. So I think so far, Backcountry, Pantry, and Mountain House have kind of like, dominate the industry. So it's good to see something different. Man, look at what's in there, you see a tofu? So I'm eating the original fried rice. I'm gonna try to put water in there with just one hand, because y'all know I forgot my tripod. Alright. Now let it sit, 15 minutes. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes, so I've opened it up. And the smell is incredible. It smells like homemade fried rice. Let's take a scoop out. Okay, that's not too bad, look at that. Oh, not sure, if, there you go. So I got tofu, soy puff, and I don't know what that is, carrots? Oh, carrots. Blah. Oh, nice. The flavor is pretty good. It's not too strong. And it's not bland either. Oh man. The one thing I forgot to mention is that 
it is vegan so it's mainly I guess if you're a vegetarian you'll like this kind of stuff it tastes pretty good it tastes pretty good right now they have a, a Kickstarter campaign and I believe it's like free shipping 10% off or 15% off not too sure I'll have the link underneath so you guys can click and check it out but check them out man it's, it's actually pretty good I wish they have like um, another product line for non-vegan though like regular stuff you know I would love to have some chicken there right now so good mm-hmm hmm, hmm. dry my stuff back there mmm the sun's out dry my stuff pack up and get it out of here you know all right talk to you guys later breakfast time Time to say goodbye to this campsite. We're done. Done packing up. Bye. Thank you for the great trip. Although, you know, a lot of curses still. Fishing rod, uh, tripod, these two men, always my problem. Always. But hey, good trip after all. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe and like the video if you like it. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, princess. <laughs>